please stand for our graduates. Thank you. Please stand for the presentation of our national colors and the singing of our national anthem. Color Guard, Post.
Please be seated. Feels good to be together today, doesn't it? Huge relief. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jason Olbrich. I'm the executive director of Eager Ridge Academy. It's my pleasure to welcome you to help us celebrate the graduation of the class of 2021. Class of 2021, 13 years ago, you began this journey. And today marks a significant part of that journey. It's not just the completion of high school, but the point at which you are the primary decision maker for yourself. Your decisions matter. You are alone are responsible for being exemplary citizens and to add value to the lives of others. Before I introduce our valedictorian, I want to give one piece of advice. And that's the gift to others more than you take for yourselves, is to serve others, is how to be an exemplary citizen. That's the one thing that we've learned this year, is I've seen you help each other out. I've seen your parents help you out. I've seen our staff and teachers go above and beyond to make sure you walk today. Thank you, fac thank you so much, faculty. Tonight, it is my honor to introduce one of our class valedictorians. This year's uh, valedictorian is Ms. Shri Guntapali, who has attended Eagle Ridge Academy since third grade. She has been actively involved and held posts in junior class league as secretary, National Honor Society co-president, math team as co-president, where she has won multiple division awards. She has founded the ERA Aquarium Initiative, which raises trout from eggs and releases fingerlings into the spring, in the spring, providing personalized environmental education at our school. She was named a U.S. Presidential Scholar candidate and has been awarded a $2,500 scholarship as a National Merit Scholar. Shri, come on up. Thank you, Mr. Ulbrich. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I just feel like I need to look at everyone and take this in because it's been so long since we've been together. <laughs> it just feels good to see people. <laughs> but I am so honored and excited to be here in front of you today and to share a few words. First, I would like to take a moment to thank all the teachers, administration, and faculty at Eagle Ridge Academy, and our family and friends. Without them, we sure would not be here today. <laughs> Thank you to our teachers and our friends and family for always being there to support us through the challenges and to help us succeed and celebrating our victories as their own. Thank you to the faculty for supporting our crazy ideas, like having an aquarium at school, <laughs> and for spraying our hands with hand sanitizer this, this year in the lunchroom <laughs> and for making this possible for us. I want to thank our teachers for guiding our learning with patience, creativity, and such investment, for instilling in us values that are essential for being kind and caring individuals, and also for teaching us that there are things that cannot be measured by grades and test scores things that are learned by being with others and valuing them. Teachers really influence how we view the world. The way they teach has a great impact on whether we come to love learning or view it as a burden. What makes our teachers at Eagle Ridge so, so valuable is the fact that they teach us how to think instead of what to think. By giving us multiple perspectives on certain topics, both contemporary and in history, they give us the adequate resources needed to understand and think through the, the world around us in a more complete and true way. Thank you uh, for, te for teaching us to love learning and for always encouraging our curiosity. Well, 
I cannot believe we're actually graduating today. <laughs> what does that mean for us? From having recess in the, in the parking lot in third grade, to making ice cream in sixth grade, to debating whether Plato or Aristotle is better, to dissecting sheep brains in anatomy. <laughs> We've done a lot. <laughs> We've survived the cities and standardized tests. We've not only read about dreadful, the dreadful bubonic plague, but lived through our own pandemic. We've seen our cities burn and innocent people die. But now we're filled with hope for the future and for what we can do for ourselves and others. If there's one thing that is uniquely and undeniably ERA, that would have to be our humanities classes. How many things have we delved into in that class? We've read epics and histories, tragedies, and theses about the nature of humanity. I think we're still debating fate and free will and trying to define truth, but that's a conversation for another time. Um, although we've asked a lot of questions in that class and perhaps have been left with more questions than answers, there is one thing, something that we have learned that is absolutely valuable, and that is what it means to truly listen and have meaningful conversations. We have learned to respect ideas that we do not agree with and realize that each of us has value beyond our opinions. I think the most beautiful thing would be when we would be vehemently de debating something to us in humanities and just a couple minutes later during break, we'd be seen laughing and eating together. I think it goes to show how friendship cannot be defined by boundaries such as race, religion, or other backgrounds. And what truly matters is being able to listen to each other. And I think that's the biggest strength that Eagle Ridge has given us, the ability to talk to each other and truly learn from our conversations despite the differences. There's a quote by Maya Angelou that says, people will forget what you said and people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And when I look back on the last decade of school, I really feel that this is true. I, I don't recall exact conversations or events, but I do remember the community I felt as we all you know, stood up there in the upstairs commons in those mornings, even though we're all really tired. I remember the simple joy of greeting each other in the hallways, and I remember the contentment I feel just being in each other's company, sitting with you all today, yesterday, waiting to become official graduates. Equipped with the skills that Eagle, Eagle Ridge has given us, I have no doubt that we will all go on to do inspiring things and fulfilling things. And I know that we'll make other people feel heard and valued, and that's what true success entails. Congratulations to all the graduates. I'm so thankful to know you all, and I'm gonna miss you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, Shri. Good evening, I'm Erin Johnson. I'm the principal for the Schools of Logic and Rhetoric, and I have the pleasure for the first time ever in Eagle Ridge's history to introduce to you the second valedictorian, Mr. Henry Long. <laughs> Henry has been a student at Eagle Ridge Academy since second grade. He's been involved in a wide array of clubs and organizations that include the math team and student senate. He's been named outstanding attorney at the national level as a member of the mock trial team, received the distinction of all state as a cross country athlete, and has been awarded the prestigious National Merit Scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, Henry Long. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. Eagle Ridge families, staff, faculty, alumni, and students. Congratulations to the Eagle Ridge Academy class of 2021.
For those of you who don't know me, my name is Henry Long. Like Ms. Johnson said, I've been a student at Eagle Ridge Academy since I've been in second grade, back when the School of Grammar first began. Throughout my time at Eagle Ridge, I've had the privilege of being involved in a number of clubs, organizations, and sports. And I've also had the pleasure to get to know so many of you students, teachers, and faculty here today. Now for the class of 2021, I'm sure the last thing you want to hear about is the pandemic and how you were so brave and so resilient and you persevered so much. I get it. I'm tired of talking about the pandemic too. Instead of talking to you about all that, I want to talk to you about something that this whole year has taught me. When I was younger, I thought that education was about the passages that we'd read or the presentations that we'd give or the PowerPoints that we'd take notes on. But instead, this year I learned that education is about the people that we share it with. Now as an aside, I don't know if any of you noticed, but I just ended my last two sentences with prepositions. I, I apologize sincerely and profusely to all of my teachers, but if there's one thing I've learned, it's that at Eagle Ridge, sometimes you have to sacrifice grammar for sounding like a real person. <laughs> now, Eagle Ridge has also helped teach me the importance of learning from others, which Shri touched on a little bit. Consider Socratic seminars which allowed us to the, examine the text by discussing with each other. In humanities, I learned so much from so many of you here today. I can't imagine what my understanding of the world would be if it weren't shaped by each and every one of you from what I heard from you when we discussed the text. And for that, I'd like to thank all of you. Now today we're here as individuals going our separate ways. Now, some of us might end up in the same state or even the same school in many cases, but we all must leave Eagle Ridge. We all must step out into the scary adult world of managing a budget and scheduling appointments and cooking our own meals. It's going to be difficult. But we want to, at the same time, draw on what we've learned from Eagle Ridge. Don't lose sight of the Eagle Ridge classes and communities that have shaped you. Remember the amazing conversations, classes, and clubs that you were all a part of. And as you enter the next phase of your life, seek out more communities like the ones you found at Eagle Ridge. Now today marks the culmination of our Eagle Ridge education. And it wouldn't be a proper Eagle Ridge speech if I didn't use some Latin etymology. Am I right, guys? I know, I know, I know. Education comes from the Latin words a and ducere, meaning to lead out. Pretty fitting given where we are today, isn't it? For the last four years, Eagle Ridge has been preparing to lead us out into the world. And today, we stand at the threshold between the security of the last four years and the change that's going to be brought on by the next several years. And today, I exhort you to appreciate that threshold by living in the present. Reflect on the experiences you've had over the last four years, but at the same time, Embrace the changes that the future will bring. I know how much I'm going to miss all of you. But I'm sincerely excited to see the amazing things that all of you are going to accomplish. It doesn't seem real. But this is my goodbye to all of you. Now, I hope that I'll see many of you over this summer. But for others... This may be the last time that our paths will cross. I want to wish you all the best as you begin the next chapter of your lives. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Henry. I now have the pleasure of introducing our faculty speaker, Mrs. Jane Wagner Venema. She has been a humanities teacher at Eagle Ridge Academy since the 2010-11 school year. As a side note, she was also my student teacher, so she's actually been around a lot longer than that. She has also taught a variety of elective writing courses, founded and directs the Eagle Ridge Academy Improv Club, and currently serves on the board of directors. Since beginning her career at Eagle Ridge Academy, she has grown to love classical edu education for how it challenges students to take their education beyond the classroom and grow in virtue as students, citizens, and individuals. Good evening, graduates, graduates' families, friends, and Eagle Ridge Academy faculty, staff, and board members. I feel I need to insert here. You all are going to think that we coordinated our speeches. Uh, it's an extraordinary coincidence that uh, Henry and Shree and myself kind of landed on the exact same topics for this evening. It is my sincerest pleasure to be here tonight to celebrate these good people. <laughs> and your high school graduation. Thank you, graduates, for honoring me with the invitation to speak at your graduation. Also, I would like to acknowledge that it was only recently that the majority of the people here were invited to attend this celebration, so uh, I hope that we may not take this time together for granted. Eagle Ridge Academy class of 2021, you are about to graduate, but before it is official, you all will partake in an Eagle Ridge Academy tradition in which you will be given a wooden sword as a symbol of your academic accomplishment and your newfound freedom. These swords are inscribed with the school motto, Sapere Aude, Sapere Discre. How was my pronunciation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bit of a mixed bag, I'll take it. Sapere Aude, Sapere Discre translates as dare to know, dare to learn. Or as some Latin scholars prefer, dare to be wise, dare to learn. But why dare? If you are familiar with this motto's origin, you know it is partially taken from Horace's epistles, in which he proclaims, sapere aude incipe, exclamation point. Translation, dare to be wise, begin. In full context, Horace highlights the important, importance of taking the first steps with any endeavor. Beginning, he insists, is half the task and coincidentally, a fitting message for a commencement. But why dare? Why must a scholar be daring? Why must a scholar be courageous? I see many of you scholars thinking. Perhaps you are pondering the etymology of courage, heart. But this is not the blood pumping organ heart. Rather, it is the seat of your emotions heart your gut, your spirit, your will, your being. Your whole being is employed in every act of courage. Why courage, though? It's because, graduates, to know something is to accept it as truth. And to accept something as truth binds one to declare it to be so. To know the truth is to speak the truth, even when that truth is unpleasant. And even when that truth faces opposition, one must dare to be wise. The courage it takes to face opposition with truth is rather straightforward. But less obvious is the need for courage in learning. But learning is by its very nature oppositional. Learning pits who you are against who you could be. To dare to learn is to accept one's present condition of being without some knowledge. 
It takes courage to admit one's own unknowing. In fact, acknowledging what we do not know is the necessary first step to attaining knowledge and is precisely what the seminar discussion seeks to make a habit in you. And that moment when learning meets knowing is perhaps what demands the most courage of you, the most fortitude for facing the truth at times is unsettling, astonishing, and transformational, something you will want to fight with every, fi every fiber of your being. It's a moment such as this one, maybe, a beginning. Perhaps no one we've read more fully, more courageously grappled with what he knew than Montaigne. I know, the beginning of last year may seem like a lifetime ago. In many ways, it was. But I hope you all remember at least some of the highlights of his essays, or at the very least, T proclaiming, he's so metal. Um, <laughs> he is. 16th century essayist Montaigne devoted himself to the in-depth written reflection of the one subject he was certain he knew best, himself. But in so doing, he didn't simply unmask himself for the world to see, he also exposed our very real and very shared human nature. One truth he never fails to impress upon his readers is that we need not look farther than ourselves to see the defects of our human nature. But so too we need not look farther than ourselves to see the possible greatness of the human spirit. It is this grappling with his own greatness and defects, both his courage and his pride, that shines through his reflections. In his essay on presumption, he remarks, this capacity for sifting truth, whatever it may amount to in me, and this free will not to enslave my belief easily, I owe principally to myself. Which is then tempered by the truth he admits to himself in the aptly named, On the Art of Conversation, <laughs> declaring, I feel far prouder of the victory I win over myself when I make myself give way beneath my adversary's powers of reason, then I ever feel gratified by the victory I win over him through weakness. Seminar discussion was never about winning others to your position. It has always been about winning over yourselves to reason, to truth. So consider this sword also a symbol of that courageous victory. With this sword, we are telling you, we trust you to discern the truth for yourselves. And I mean all of you. The time has come for you to discern the truth for yourselves. Even you, Simon Rinders. <laughs> and I should probably add Ben, since you don't get one without the other, right? <laughs> While this year may not have felt like the crescendo, a senior year ought to. It nevertheless is one. Congratulations, Eagle Ridge Academy, class of 2021. May you savor every bit of this sweet moment. Thank you. Our last speaker tonight is Mr. Edward Minuskin, who has attended Eagle Ridge Academy since the third grade. He's enjoyed being a member of the mock trial team and will be attending the University of Minnesota, Twin Cities in the fall to study pre-dentistry. Come on up, Edward. As Ms. Johnson said, uh, for those who I've, I haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet, my name is Edward Muskin, and it's my honor today to speak on behalf of our graduating class. It's also my honor to have the last word, the closing argument, as it were. <laughs> but before I start the congratulations, there are thank yous in order. On behalf of the class of 2021, I'd like to thank the teachers and the coaches. I'd like to thank the friends and the family. I'd like to thank the staff, 
the administration, and everyone else who made today possible. In our time at Eagle Ridge, we've had three different counselors and four different principals. And I'd also like to thank each and every one of them. <laughs> so now that the thank yous are done, I'd like to talk about what today means for us, the graduating class. For me, it's a happy day, but it's also tinged with a little bit of sadness. That sad part is the idea of finality, of everything finally coming to an end and leaving Eagle Ridge behind. That means no more uniforms, no more math team parades, no more meditation Monday. <laughs> but the most important part of Eagle Ridge was the people, the friendships that we've made and grown here over the years. Graduates, just think about how much you've changed since you were a naive little freshman. And now look at your fellow graduates. For better or for worse, these are the people who you've grown up with and who you've grown together with. Some of you I've known since third grade. That's nine years, and now we're finally parting ways. Dragging myself out of bed in the morning and coming to school every day was worth being surrounded by the people that made Eagle Ridge feel like home. It was about being there for all the wacky hijinks, seeing whatever crazy thing Dexter would eat next, <laughs> hearing Mr. Sun's stories about Mexico or Ms. Wolf's stories about Liberia. <laughs> that community was something that we could rely on, and we'll never have that exact same experience again the way we did at ERA. We're here to open a new chapter in our lives, whatever that may bring. But opening a new chapter means closing the old one, and we can never open it again. But I don't want my speech to be too much of a bummer, because I do believe that today is a day to celebrate. I may be sad that it's over, but I'm also happy that it's done. We're finally free to head off into the world. You've got to push the baby birds out the nest sometime, but that's our opportunity to spread our wings and fly. And I believe we're ready. Though we may be leaving these people behind, we forged bonds for the future, and we've learned a lot to prepare us. Mr. Lutz taught us to find inner peace. Mr. Bart Johnson taught us the value of a firm handshake. <laughs> Ms. Williams never did teach us how to fit our fists in our mouths, but I'm sure we'll get there eventually. <laughs> we've all learned these lessons that will stick with us, and I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. So thank you all for taking a minute to listen to what today means to me. But after four speeches, I'm sure we're all eager to get on with the rest of the ceremony. So in conclusion, it's been a great nine years for the most part. Thank you all. <laughs> Graduates, please stand for the presentation of the diplomas. Isabel Rose Beck. Ava Paulette Berger. Nancher Rachel Bancott. Alexander James Burke. Philip Dean Burke. Tyler Garrett Clay. Atley John Collison. Samuel Harrison Dory. Thomas Joseph Dudgeon. Samantha Jean Erickson. Nathaniel Grube. Sridhatri Reddy Guntapali. <laughs> Ali.
Ariana Rose Herbst. <laughs> Owen Daniel Jerpy. Hudson Blaze Hutton Lau. Timothy Alex Karmushko. Mia Chesney Katz. Shay Anna Kulis. Henry Isaac Long. Haley Margaret Mark. Molly Elizabeth McCoy. Spencer Paul Mine. Simon Trey Meyer. Edward Asher Minuskin. Haley Sue Moeller. Dexter James Montague. Daniel Ronald Nasby. Eric Matthew Oberstar. Ella Sharon Olson. Fabiana Orellana. Levi Costa Plummer. Vivian Marie Rellen. Silas David Renodin. Simon Oliver Reinders. Benjamin James Shaughnessy. Victoria Rose Shadsova. Anna Elaine Silburn. Maddox Cornell Simons. Daniel Thomas Stevenson. Emily Nicole Sukcheva. Jillian Janae Swenson. Ashton Ryan Van Bergen. Eleanor Elizabeth Alderson Watson. Amelia Katami Watson. It is now time to present the swords. The sword ceremony at Eagle Ridge Academy began with its first graduating class, the class of 2008. The original ceremony took place most commonly in ancient Rome as a symbol for gladiators to become officially freed men. It was an unusual ceremony as it was not a common practice. The wooden sword, the rudis, was the symbol of freedom and was given to the gladiator. This signaled that the gladiator was no longer a slave, but a free man. 
The crowds would cheer and the once gladiator would walk from the arena as a free man and one who would be idolized by the mobs of citizens. At Eagle Ridge Academy, our sword ceremony celebrates something similar, their completion of one part of their journey and the celebration of their next steps in life. The sword ceremony will now begin. Board of Directors, Executive Director Ulbrich, and families, I now present the 2021 graduates of Eagle Ridge Academy. Congratulations.